unrelenting rain, the weather theme here in West London. We're at Stamford Bridge. I'm Derek Ray, here on the commentary position, joined by Lee Dixon to help me describe all the action. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Chelsea up against Newcastle United. Yeah, great to be here. How lucky are we, Derek? We get paid for this. Astonishing, really. Looking forward to a fabulous game. I'm sure the fans are too. Should be great. Well, he's a striker who improves with each passing year, Timo Werner. In the context of this game, what do you expect to see from him, Lee? Well, when I look at a player I'm playing against, the first thing I look at is how quick is he. And if he is quick, if he's got pace, I have to play him a certain way. That's my first objective, stop him getting the ball so he can use that pace. And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. Kepa is the goalkeeper. Thiago Silva plays with Kurt Zuma in central defence. And leading the line today is Timo Werner. So the starting 11 for Newcastle United. And there is a certain art to the way they play. It's all about defending with distinction and then playing on the counter-attack. Yeah, absolutely. Play to your strengths. If you're good at defending, you can flood the front of your back four, soak up that pressure, and then we know what they've got up top. They've got players who can hurt you on that counter-attack, and they've certainly got the direction from midfield to get the ball to them. James. Now with Jorginho, Pulisic, Aspiliqueta. This attack looks highly promising. Thiago Silva. Attacking possibilities for Chelsea. And danger still. And in at the second time of asking, but the goalkeeper badly at fault. Well, let's have a look at that replay. As a defender, all, all the defenders in the box, you've got to be a pessimist. You've got to expect something bad to happen. It's back off the keeper, and now it's in the back of the net. So the game has restarted and Chelsea are the team with the lead. And looking at the table, I don't think anyone can argue with the form of Newcastle United playing well above the expectations of most people. Yeah, fantastic start. They've got to build on that start now. All of a sudden in the Champions League spot, can they keep it going? A long way to go, but the confidence they've built up over this first part of the season, that could carry them through towards the end and have a really good finish. Rhys James. It's Callum Hudson-Odoi. And winning it back. Joel Linton. Hayden. Wilson with it. Teammate available. Thiago Silva's block. Another block. And he's fired over the corner, making sure nothing untoward happened. 
behind for another corner. Can they cash in? Played into the centre of the box. No nonsense clearance. Fabian Scher. Callum Wilson. It's with Joel Linton. And that pass could be troublesome. And it's still on. Keeping the ball moving. Lewis. Almiron. A goal has gone in at Molyneux. Let's hear more about it from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Tottenham Hotspur. 21 minutes played. 1-0. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. Joel Linton. Wilson. Now potential danger. And a goal to square the game. Edge of the seat stuff. Well, here we'll see it again. A lovely pass is a pure quality passing. Fluid as you like. And he chooses to use power in the finish. Not much chance for the keeper when it's hit that hard. Well, it's not easy being a manager, and that's why they've let him down a bit there. So, a level contest. 1-1. Ziyech. Here's Kovacic. Pulisic. Ziyech. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Fabian Scher. Ball with Shelby. Hayden. Bad pass. Almiron. And we're going to bring you an update now from the London Stadium where a goal has been scored. Alan McAnally will tell us more. It's a goal for Arsenal. 31 minutes played. 1-0. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. Pure ball control. Oh, they've lost it. Threading it forward. Is it going to be? Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. Lewis. Oh, what's he gone and done? Happy to take on the shot. Excellent block. Well, Derek, just look at those stats. Not created enough chances. They really haven't. They need to up the tempo, put the pressure on. Then they should win this game. Now Chelsea in a position of menace. And space to cross it. Shelby. Miguel Almiron. It's with Joe Linton. It might be perfectly set up for the counter-attack, you know. Well, not to be in terms of the counter-attack. There's a slide draw pass. And a goal! Just like that, they're back in front. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. And he had choices of what type of finish to apply. And bang, he goes for the smash. Lovely goal.
And they are back underway. Chelsea with the advantage. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Werner. And played towards the near post. The end product just wasn't there. Well, being pressed here. Hayden. On to Almiron. And the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at Stamford Bridge. You've certainly got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Lee. Well, his manager will be delighted with him. He's been spot on in this game, hasn't he? Energy, imagination, desire and a steely determination. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Almiron. And on the ball is Cher. Not advantage with them. Referee says play on. Fabian Cher. Wilson. Poor pass. Chelsea are really struggling in terms of possession, but when they've had the ball, they keep delivering the sucker punch. A great advert for low possession, counter-attacking football. It's really working. Callum Wilson. On to Almiron. Well, it's one pass after another. Miguel Almiron. Crossing possibilities. Wilson. And the referee sees that as a foul. Free kick given. He's been admonished by the referee. He's now got to walk something of a tightrope. Yeah, he knows exactly where he stands. Look at the referee, how he's told him off there. No yellow card, but certainly knows what the referee's thinking. Delivered into the box and clears his lines. Just a quick reminder, we have more action from the Premier League coming your way. It's Newcastle United facing West Ham United. Yeah, really looking forward to it. Always a great atmosphere in that stadium. It should be... Must score! And a goal! He's doubled his total for the day in superb scoring form! Well, here it is again. It's all about the pace in transition. They were so quick to get out from the back. And sometimes, with all the time in the world, you can fluff your lines. But he composes himself and slips it past the keeper beautifully. Oh, to be a fly on the wall in that dressing room if it stays like this, Derek. He's not happy. Just look at him. No shortage of goals in this match. 3-1. Fabian Scher Manquillo moving the ball forward with purpose well read to ease the pressure great pressure to win the ball back Wilson and he got to it fairly easily Mateo Kovacic. It's with Hakim Ziyech. Jorginho. Werner. And fed forwards. And it all counts for naught. Maximum commitment, and he's given away the corner. Substitution for Chelsea coming off the And it is substitution time at this juncture. Not just from one side, but from both. Number three, Marcus Alonso.
Corner kick played in. Well, he had a decent reading of that ball in. Rhys James. Marcos Alonso. And unable to keep possession. Shelby. Pulisic. And space to cross it. And he takes on the shot. Well, over the top it goes. He didn't miss by an awful lot. Substitution for Newcastle United. Coming off the pitch, number eight, John Joe Shelby. Coming onto the pitch, number 16, Jeff Henry. Well, it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. Gale. Newcastle really controlling possession, but it's just whether they can convert that possession into clear-cut chances. You sense they need to pick up the pace a little, start utilising the wide areas more. The back line's doing a decent job. Hopefully the forwards can do that as well. In the offing. Both substitutes have been getting ready, will come on at the same time. Marcos Alonso. Werner. Oh, what an opportunity! Well, how about that for a piece of tackling to break things up? 15 minutes remaining. And a goal has gone in in the West Ham game. Alan McAnally can tell us more. It's a second goal for Arsenal. 76 minutes played. 2-0. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. Throw-ins given. Jeff Hendrick. Well read to win possession back. Hendrick. Strong but fair tackle. Jorginho. Timo Werner Ziyech and news of a goal at Molyneux Alan McAnally with the details Alan it's a second goal for Tottenham Hotspur seven minutes remain 2-2 many thanks Alan A successful intervention, winning the ball back. Miguel Almiron. San Maxima. Showing a real will to win the ball. Could be a chance to break here. Given away by Chelsea. Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. How well, far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will have four minutes of stoppage time. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? Something to worry about here. He's foiled them on his own.
Werner. A move of promise on the flank. Gives it a go. Full time then. The referee's whistle. And Chelsea victorious. That's the big headline, Lee. Yeah, their two-goal advantage in the end was just reward for their good play today for me. Worthy winners. Well, his performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Lee. Well, he never gave that back line a chance to get a breath. Two goals for the lad today. Played superbly well, looked really sharp. Constantly playing on the shoulder of the last defender. A real handful.